Welcome to the first of a two-part series on how to program Hummingbird using the Create Lab Visual Programmer. This video will show you how to control outputs and make expressions. The next video will show you how to add sensors and tie expressions together with sequences. You might be wondering what we mean by expression and sequence. Consider this simple bot, just a tricolor LED attached with electrical tape to a servo. One expression may be the LED glowing red and pointing right. Another expression could be the LED glowing green and pointing left. A sequence would use two or more of these expressions, as well as loops and sensors, to create movement from one expression to the other. If you'd like to follow along with this video at home, you should now connect an LED, tricolor LED, vibration motor, regular motor, and servo to your Hummingbird. Plug in your Hummingbird to USB and motor power and launch the software. When we launch the software, it will connect and bring up the Expression Builder tab, which is where we can control our outputs. So here I'm controlling an LED on port 1, and I'm making it brighter, and brighter yet, and then I can scroll the slider down, and when I release, it'll set to a dimmer state. Here, next I'm going to control um, a tricolor LED, which can be made into any color. So first I'm going to make it red, and there's a dim red, and then bright green, dimmer, and bright blue, and dim blue. And now we can mix the colors, so blue and green, and now red, and that gives us white, especially if you've got a nice little styrofoam ball on the LED to diffuse the colors away. And that's how we control a tricolor LED. I'll turn that off and I'll go to the vibration motors. And on port 1, I'll have the motor vibrate slowly and then vibrate at full power. Next, we'll do the DC motors. Um, so here we have a slow forward motion, fast clockwise, and then slow counterclockwise and fast counterclockwise, and with the motors you can actually click on stop to make the motor stop. Finally, we'll do the servos. So here we have a servo on port 1. And I can just set the angle of the servo horn from 0 to uh, about 180. So there it goes all the way from 0 to 180. You just saw that and back to about 90. Now that I've shown you how to control outputs, let's make some expressions. And again for this, we'll use our simple bot. So uh, just hook up a servo to port 1 and a tricolor LED to tricolor LED port 1. And here we're going to control the servo first without um, touching the tricolor LED port. And we'll save that expression as center, so we put the servo to 90 degrees. And then let's put the servo to 180 degrees, and we can save that as right. And we hit save a copy in order to make a new expression. And now we put it to 0 degrees, which is left, so we'll save a copy again and call that left. Now we'll turn off the servo, and turn on the tricolor LED, and we'll make one that's red. And as I'm doing this, it's important to note that you can save expressions that uh, control multiple outputs at the same time. So I could have an expression with the tricolor LED green and the servo set to 90 degrees, for example. And here we're just setting the LED to blue. And that covers making and saving expressions. Watch the second video in our series to learn about sequences.